My name is Sean Anderson. I'm a third year medical student and this is Med School Insider's Why I Did. My first exposure to the medical field dates all the way back to high school. We used to put on these benefit shows for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and I would participate in them every single year. I had a lot of fun just performing on stage, doing these shows and helping raise money for a good cause. Fast forward a few years, I was finished with high school, going into college and I realized I wanted to do more with the Make-A-Wish Foundation so I became a wish granter. As a wish granter, I was going and meeting families and kids who were struggling with life-threatening conditions. I was able to meet them, learn about them and find out what their wish was. Some of our kids went to Hawaii, Australia, they got to swim with sharks, they got to have shopping sprees. Honestly, their imagination was the limit. This was an incredibly fun but also humbling experience. Although these kids were fighting battles harder than many of us will ever have to, they were so positive. Their diseases didn't define them and all they wanted to do was be a kid. This was incredibly inspiring and I loved hearing all about their stories. Many of my wish kids and their families would talk about their nurses and doctors that would make their stay in the hospital a much better experience. Even though they were going through some pretty dark times, Times, these providers were able to bring hope, strength, and joy into their lives. And I realized I wanted to do the same. Now, like I said, I was starting college during this time and I still wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. I had had the idea to become a doctor, but I honestly wasn't the best student. Throughout all of high school, I was a pretty B average student, but I actually failed biology my freshman year. And then I got a C in chemistry my junior year. This did not get any better during college as I actually failed a pre-calc and trick class during my first semester. Because of this, I didn't think I was smart enough to become a doctor. So I started thinking about other career options. During this time, I was actually recruited to become a performer on the East Coast and do shows as an acrobat. This was an extremely fun time in my life. I would do school during the semesters and then I would fly to the East Coast in the summers and perform for three months at a time. This was honestly one of the most fun times of my life and I just loved getting to perform on stage doing what I loved. I did shows for about two years and during that time, I started thinking a lot more about what I wanted to do with my future. I eventually found kinesiology and felt like it really lined up with my interests. The emphasis on sports and exercise as well as anatomy and physiology was really appealing to me and so I decided to pursue that major. This is when I saw a huge shift in my academics as I actually became a straight A student after this. I realized that I wasn't a bad student, I just wasn't motivated. I didn't have a reason for why I was studying and I didn't have a future objective in mind. Eventually, I heard about physical therapy and I decided to pursue that path for a bit. I was doing shadowing, I was the vice president of the Pre-Physical Therapy Honor Society, I was doing well in my classes, I was pretty much doing everything I needed to do to get into physical therapy school. However, I always had the idea of becoming a physician in the back of my mind and this came up even more during my third year of college. I was shadowing a physical therapist and he asked me why I wasn't pursuing medicine. He explained to me that he actually originally wanted to go to medical school, but he felt like it was too much schooling, it would take too long, and so he decided to go down the route of physical therapy, which was a little bit shorter. However, he told me he regretted this. He wished he had just pursued it at that time because by now he would have been done with his training and he would have been a practicing physician. This got me thinking a lot more about myself. I was a straight A student, I was doing everything I needed to do for physical therapy, and I wondered, why didn't I just do that for medicine when I was having doubts at the time? I started losing a lot of sleep over this and one of my friends gave me some really good advice. He told me that I should do everything I think I need to do to get into medical school. Once I do or don't get in, then I can decide if that was the path that was right for me or if I actually would like to do physical therapy instead. He said if I was worrying about it this much, then I should at least pursue that option. And so that's exactly what I did. I quit my job as a tumbling coach. I actually started doing research and I started scribing in the emergency room all things I thought I needed to do to become a successful medical school applicant. I switched my classes to a pre-med focus and started taking classes like organic chemistry and physics. I was doing all this during my fourth year of college and I was getting really nervous that I had a lot to catch up on. But honestly, once I started working in the emergency room, seeing what physicians did every single day and taking all these other pre-med courses, I realized that this was definitely the path for me. A year later, I took the MCAT and six months later, I was accepted to medical school. My experience in medical school so far has actually been pretty good. I love the collaborative environment and being surrounded by so many other like-minded students. Being in medical school has changed challenged me in so many ways, but I feel like I've grown so much because of that. I think my favorite part so far have definitely been the friends and the memories that you make. I would say my least favorite part is probably the time commitment. One of the hardest things about being in medical school is watching all of your friends outside of medicine live their lives. It can be incredibly unmotivating and you get a little bit jealous seeing all these people pursuing their other passions while you have to spend a lot of your time studying. But then when you do things like work in the hospital, see patients and do okay on your exams, you realize it's all worth it. So like I said before, I'm currently a third year medical student, which means I'm on my rotations trying to figure out what I wanna do. The fields I'm leaning towards the most right now are emergency medicine, internal medicine, anesthesia, and surgery. <laughs> F off, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're just so funny to me. This is so broad. Fucking camera. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna say I don't know what I wanna do. Honestly, I don't really know exactly what I wanna do. 
The fields that interest me the most are emergency medicine, anesthesia, internal medicine, and surgery. I like all these specialties for different reasons. I love the emergent care of emergency medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I love the anesthesia part of anesthesiology <laughs> and the surgery part of surgery. Well, like, I can explain this normally to most people. I like all these specialties for different reasons. I do want to do something that is going to be life-saving and immediately on the front lines, which is why I like emergency medicine. However, the lack of continuity makes me lean a little bit more towards internal medicine. However, I'm also considering surgery or anesthesia because I really like the operating room and I like that you can kind of go in there, get a job done, and you know that you've done something to affect this person's life. I know I definitely want to work in a hospital versus an outpatient setting, and I definitely want to work with patients. So I've ruled out family medicine, ob radiology, and pathology. So although I'm in medical school full time, I also make YouTube videos on the side. Back when I was going on my med school interviews, I was sitting in my hotel room one night thinking back back on all the experiences I had to go through just to get to that point of getting an interview. I felt like these experiences were going to be wasted because I was just moving on to the next step of the process. It was that same night that I actually set my phone up against the TV in my hotel room and filmed my first ever YouTube video. It started off with me just giving advice from my pre-med years ways to study for OCHEM, how to prepare for your interviews, how to schedule your MCAT. And then eventually when I started medical school, that transitioned into weekly vlogs. My whole goal as a medical YouTuber was just to show my experiences through my point of view. I don't try to give study advice through my videos because I'm still trying to figure that out myself. But I feel like if people can watch my videos and gain anything from it, then that'll be of value. My main goal with my videos is for people to be able to watch my experiences and take bits and pieces away from it to make their paths a little bit easier. One of the advantages of being a med school YouTuber is definitely having a creative outlet. Filming and editing videos is extremely relaxing to me and it kind of serves as a personal diary where I could talk about my experiences to the lens and it gets a lot off my chest. However, the disadvantage with any hobby you pursue during medical school is that you're gonna have to fit that in while studying and taking classes full time. Personally, I wouldn't change a single thing I did. Sure, I could have started a little bit earlier, but I started medical school at the time that was right for me based on the experiences that I needed to gain. I feel like this is how everyone should see their path to medicine. We all have different experiences and paths we need to go down to accomplish our goals. You shouldn't compare yourself to others just because you see what they're doing. My, my, my answer to this was also kind of deep, I think, if I remember correctly. Honestly, I think anyone could go to medical school and be successful. To think that there is only one type of person or a particular fit for this profession undermines the entire goal of creating a more diverse physician workforce. We need people from all sorts of backgrounds, cultures, experiences, and mindsets for this profession. Our patients are endlessly unique and their needs cannot be fulfilled by just one type of physician. If you're a high school or a college student thinking about pursuing a career in medicine, my number one piece of advice is to make sure that this is really what you wanna do. This is a time of your life that you can really explore your passions and the things that you're really interested in. If there are other career options you're thinking about, then go and spend some time exploring that. If there are hobbies that you really enjoy, make sure to dedicate some time to those as well. And once you decide that medicine is right for you, you wanna make sure you fully commit. Make sure to use the resources that are available to you. I actually did use Med School Insiders when I was a pre-med student to to make sure that this path was right for me and to get advice. If you're a pre-med or a medical student looking to become a physician, make sure to check out medschoolinsiders.com. Like I said, I've been Sean. Wait, is, it, is that the outro? Why, you don't have an intro song. You should do one. He's gonna be replacing me. That's the new intro moving forward. <laughs> What's going on guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Kevin Jubal, physician entrepreneur based in Las Vegas, formerly in plastic surgery. Welcome back to another video. I'm really stoked to be here to talk to you guys uh, about... This is now the new Kevin Jubal. Yeah. And uh, this is the better looking, Clearly. upgraded yeah. 2.0. Yeah, I feel bad and for you guys for having to stick with this guy for so long. True that, true that. So I'm guys, actually changing my name to Sean Anderson and he legally yeah. changed his name to Kevin Jubal. It's so, honestly a switch, yeah. Peace guys, won't see you here again. Honestly, this is how it was meant to be. Anyways, guys, let's talk about tea, cars, sleep hygiene, and uh, stretching. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know me like that? Did I, just, I just summed up your entire channel. <laughs> that was too good. <laughs>